Hey everybody, Prepper for the Ages coming at you from my secret location. How are you doing today? Um, why do we do these things? Why do we talk about putting things back and gardening and doing the pew-pews and doing the, the logistical solutions, uh, whatever they may be? Why do we do that? Let's talk about that today. Okay, why do we do that? Well, we do that to secure our living situation. Okay, well, we do that to secure our food situation. Okay, but also a good thing. We do that, uh, I would say, we do that because we want to live. <laughs> we want to not die of disease or uh, lead poisoning or we, we don't want to, we don't want to die. We don't want to be, be suffering. We want to actually have a quality of life, whether it's the same quality of life or something near nearby. Some people say, well, the fantasy is that everybody, nobody else uh, puts anything back and nobody else, and uh, so I will be the king of the hill. Um, okay, where's your, where's your community? If you don't have your community, it's awfully hard to bring people in and have pe and establish yourself uh, as the the big kahuna <laughs> so so yeah yeah it's what do we do we we're doing all these things but the objective is to survive so if you plan to stay in your house and stay stay uh bugged in or whatnot and something happens you're gonna have to make the decision to go you're gonna have to make the decision to go and do other things and um be somewhere else <laughs> be somewhere else in an overt way, be somewhere else in a covert way. Uh, just you have to have your your secondary and tertiary uh, plans in place. But it's something that to think about. What, what's the overall objective of uh, preparing? What's the overall objective of in case there's another world war? What's the overall objective in case there's a power outage? What is the overall inject objective if there's an ice storm or a hurricane or uh, something like that? Something unexpected. And uh, I know we have our little pie charts in our heads. Okay, uh, pie chart is uh, my way of saying, okay, what are the odds of something happening? And there's this other, there's this, there's a, you know, the, the known quantity. And then you have another slice of the pie chart in my head, it's a pie chart, uh, of the unknown. Now, like you have, you, you know there's an unknown there. So, but what we're preparing for is to be able to, um, survive our, <laughs> ourselves, our loved ones, our family, uh, anybody else who you take into your circle. And a lot of people have a big circle. A lot of people really don't have circles. But yeah, our objective is to survive. And that's it. Survive and uh, not be in pain or not suffer or whatnot. So it's something that is is interesting to think about. Okay, well, what's your definition of... Uh, preparing what's your definition of survival yeah, yeah i'm gonna be out in the woods and i'm gonna like in my <laughs> there could be two three five feet of snow outside and i really don't want to be outside for a, an extended long period of time trying to survive in that situation i know i can i know i have the equipment for it do i want to no i think um if you want to do that go ahead and do that in your spare time but in reality eventually you want to come in and take a shower Am I wrong? Am I wrong? So, okay. So if you like this video, <laughs> yeah, I understand. It's something, but it's something in your head. Let's, let's look at the vision. Look, look at the big picture. Now, why do we do all this? We put an inordinate amount of time in the different aspects going over our head, the different, the likely scenarios that we are, we are seeing uh, at any one point in time. So yes, time is a factor, time in both uh, preparing and what's going on in the world what's going on well, what's going on locally nationally internationally and then we prepare for that but the objective overall is to survive and have a life and um be still be here <laughs> at the other end of the it, it li hopefully live for a nice a good long life uh very well uh, comfortably and uh, and safely but anyways well what do you think Okay. Hey, please put your comments in the comment section and, um, all right. I'll, I'll be glad to, to, to read what everybody has to say about this subject. So, uh, it's near and dear to my heart because I want to make sure that we're, I'm, well, I'm, uh, want to make sure that I, uh, the reason why I'm doing all this is for a good reason. Well, I'm doing this for a good reason. Me, my family, my loved ones. All right. Okay. Hope this finds you well.
Hey, we live in interesting times.